Hello and welcome. I'm Vanessa Emerson, founder of Dental Speaker Institute, here today with Patrick McGowan, who is a uh, faculty member with Dental Speaker Institute and offers a course called Power Up Your Virtual Presence. I asked Patrick to join us because um, I attended this really amazing three-hour virtual workshop, and he's going to tell us all about it, but it was um, so impactful. I want to be sure that we share the information with you so that you have a chance to learn from Patrick as well and also power up your virtual presence. So uh, welcome, Patrick. And would you, before we jump in and talk about the workshop, could you give us like the, the thumbnail version of why do, why you, why are you teaching this uh, this particular course? What is it about your background that brought, brought you to this point? Um, thank you, Vanessa, and thank you for uh, featuring me as a faculty member within the Dental Speaker Institute. Um, it's really a pleasure to be able to work with you and all the dental speakers as well. Um, what brought me to this place was actually my own dis-ease and discomfort in front of the camera, believe it or not. It was one of those times when early in the pandemic, March 2020, and I have a, I have a photograph, or I shouldn't say photograph, a screenshot of myself. And I really look, I really felt like I looked like a potato. <laughs> potato. And, and it was, and, and it was just, it was just kind of awful. I mean, um, how I felt, I didn't feel like I was bringing my best self to the work. Um, I wasn't comfortable sitting in front of the camera. I wasn't comfortable, even the little things that I tried to do with a webcam and a green screen and all of these other things. Uh, ultimately, I wanted to be comfortable in front of the lens. And so I actually set out to just figure this out for myself. And it was one of those where as I went through this, I was finding that there wasn't really, um, it was few and far between the resources available beyond, a, say, a listicle with, you know, a few hacks here and there to really dig into what I was looking for. And it was from that that Punchin, as a video presence company, was really born. Um, I set up the camera, I set up the best practices, and I've and I've learned along the way myself. Um, so in some ways, you could say that I was my first client. Um, and then <laughs> it was, and then are. it was, right? And then it was from there. It was actually from there that I I realized, oh, this is really important right? I'm not the only one who feels this way, that feels that, oh, um, really feeling, sometimes even feeling incompetent because it's, it's a camera and not in person, right? We're all familiar with being in person. Um, and we have skills in that. I mean, we've developed skills in that area uh, when we speak in person. But when it comes to being on camera, there's a different, it's a different element. And, um, and so what I did was I, I began to really explore for myself and for others then at that point, what is this intersection of technology and humanity where we bring in the camera and the right technology with the, the best practices of how we show up and particularly who shows up and how do we put all of that together? And Punchin was born. Exactly. And Punchin, and Punchin was born out of, out of, out of all the chaos of the pandemic and everything. Um, and it was, it's, uh, and it's still, and it's still going strong. Oh, awesome. Um, You're offering yeah. a course a month, I believe I heard, heard you say. So, I mean, definitely there's a, there's a, um, a need for this. And I think you were just yep. touching on the need. Maybe you could expand for us a little bit more. What would be the typical challenge that the the speakers the dental speakers and consultants that are going to be receiving this video or watching this video what's the typical challenge you see that they're having that this course can help them resolve yeah that's a great question vanessa i think the the main issue let me let me share a story here because i think that this really illustrates and gets to the heart of what we're talking about and it was in the middle of one of these power-up workshops and the participant literally stopped the presses. Um, it's kind of funny to say that, you know, when we're on video, she stopped the presses. She, she just, she's like, wait, wait, I think I get what you're doing here. And I said, okay, what am I trying to do here? She said, you're going to make it so we like being on this side of the camera. Ah. And it's like, yes. Absolutely. And it's that, 
sense of when we bring our when we can bring our whole self our authentic self our full self um, our best self to this work and be that person in front of the camera it's it's interesting i even still photography there are times one of my favorite hobbies is actually to be able to take pictures when they don't when people don't know that their picture is being taken and what i do is i find them in these candid moments um, when they're in conversation and they're smiling and it's this genuine smile but you put the camera in front and you say okay we're going to take your you know we're going to take a more formal picture and they don't know how to smile that way they they lock up suddenly when yeah. when they realize the camera is on them in yeah. in that way and how do we bring how do we bring that first person that that uh how do we bring that almost level of unawareness that there's a camera and really just start working with and um allowing people to see that best self when we're on camera rather than getting locked into the camera itself and so there's a there's a place where when we are uncomfortable with how we're showing up uncomfortable with the technology um une you know that e unease that comes with being on camera at times then we need to what are this what are the what are the the what's the pathway to to having comfort and confidence on camera is what is really the beginning part and it's really the first step the power up workshop is really the first step to help people develop begin to develop the skills and eventually then the mastery of That's being great. on That's camera great. That's great and you know I think from what I gather I mean I I think a lot of the dental speakers I mean speakers that I've worked with are, are tend to be ex extroverts, not always, but tend to be mm -hmm. extroverts. And, and so in, in addition to feeling comfortable on the camera, because many of us do feel really comfortable on the stage or out in front of people, yeah. um, what other, what other, um, what else do we learn at this workshop? Right. That's a great, that is a, a great question. The other thing that we learn in this workshop, um, number one, we learn how we're coming across to others. Mm -hmm. And you may recall, you remember, you may recall how in that format, you know, so there's two parts to that, to that feedback that we receive in the workshop that everybody receives from the workshop. The first part is I bring in a nationally recognized TV and film actor out of New York City. And so collectively, I've got the design, the technology and sort of the business side of things. He's bringing that real um, TV film presence understanding of how we relate. And together, it's really kind of a dynamic duo um, in terms of feedback from a professional standpoint. The other thing is, is I always ask the participants, the other participants, um, to provide some something that they observe about mm -hmm. the other person when they present. And I think one of the things that we tend to lack in today's world is somebody just telling us, this is how you're coming across on video, objectively. Uh, and in a meaningful way, in a caring way. And that has proven to be really helpful um, for everybody who has participated. Um, you know, when you when you look at those two pieces and there's some real magic that comes out of that. Oh yeah, it def definitely, I, re I remember that. Um, and so we're going to learn how to um, be able to better engage mm -hmm. then our audiences by understanding how they, how they're taking to start with what they're um, like what the pre, it's not preconceived, but like what, what they're experiencing. Right. So that, that helps us be right. able to better engage and as educators be able to um, be more likely to have a transformation. It's, it is challenging yes. to present and teach over a platform such as this. And so mm -hmm. um, this is just one more way. It, it seems to me of boosting the likelihood that you'll be able to actually make a transformation when you have a, your, presentation, whether it's training right. or speaking or what it is. If, is there anything important that we haven't talked about uh, or about the workshop that we would want to mention before we go? I think the other the other thing that's really important to to recognize with this workshop, so it's a three hour workshop, but the other bonus to it, if you want to call it a bonus, is every participant also gets one hour one on one with me. So we'll get, you know, we'll get a little bit more technical um how we set up the camera we'll fine tune that we do a little bit that at the very beginning of the workshop but we go into that as well as what's in your background 
So ultimately what the workshop and then the one-on-one -on -one does for somebody is it begins the journey of really say, of understanding your own story and the story you're telling when you come across on video. Um, and I think that that's really what's most important about this is we're all telling a story um, before we say a word. And the, que and, and the question is, what story are you saying um, before you begin to speak? And that's what, that's what we begin to cover uh, in the workshop and in that one-on-one -on -one session. What a great bottom line. Uh, thank you for that. Um, so this course, Power Up Your Virtual Presence, is a Dental Speaker Institute uh, curriculum course. It's mm -hmm. a presentation skills elective for those of you who are candidates and are working toward your fellowship. And it is available to anyone. Uh, you don't have to be someone who's pursuing a candidacy with, as a, you know, or who's not a candidate with the fellowship, I should say. Uh, so in order to register, we would visit punchin.io, P-U-N-C-H-N, period I-O. Um, can you explain punchin.io for us? Yeah, well, it, it, what's really kind of funny. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, what's really funny, it was a much longer name when I first started in 2020. And so what I decided was um, to just shorten it to Punchin. It was oh, like the cute. first half of the name. Um, originally, I had it called Punchin Presence. And then I realized, oh. you know, from a marketing standpoint, we are all going to shorten that. Um, it's why we'll refer to Dental Speaker Institute as DSI a lot right. of times, right? Yeah. We'll automatically shorten it. So I just shortened I it, it within like three weeks of, I of coming up it. with the date. That's uh, that's awesome. I always remember, though I don't, I didn't know before, like what what the why behind it. So that's really fun <laughs> to know. Thank you. So yeah. visit punchin.io, the website to um, register for this course, Power Up Your Virtual Presence. You'll find that under, um, I believe it's either the register or the workshop tab, but it'll be obvious for you there. If you have questions about this, you can reach out to Patrick. Um, his email is Patrick, just like it sounds, P-A-T-R-I-C-K at punchin.io. And I'm sure he'd be able to um, help you and be excited to talk with you. And I can tell you that I found it to be very helpful workshop. And so I highly recommend it. It is a three hour virtual workshop. Um, Patrick has courses about every month. So go to the website, take a look, see when the next uh, upcoming workshops are. And um, Patrick, thank you so much for being here today and, and sharing about the workshop with us. Well, thank you, Vanessa. It's, it's really great and an honor to be part of, of the Dental Speaker Institute. So thank you for letting me be here. Oh my gosh, you're welcome. It's, it's our honor. Thank you for bringing your knowledge. Uh, until next time, everyone be well and thank you so much for watching.